Hi you guys, it's Stephanie with Coffee Paper Scissors. Uh, so um, I have been watching Darcy with, um, oh gosh, I do this all the time. I think of the person's name and I forget about, it's Misadventures with Mixed Media. I forget about their channel name. Let's want to make sure. Darcy's Misadventures guys, uh, with Mixed Media. And I will link the video down below. Um, she has been making scrappy, little scrappy journals. And you guys, they're so cute. Um, I will link videos below. I guess she does a live through a Facebook group um, on Sundays. I've not ever gotten to catch that because Sundays are always crazy for me. But um, she showed the final flip through of two that she made. And um, I really suggest that you watch the one that says it's a long one. Uh, you can watch it at double speed if you want to. I really suggest you watch that one. And I'm just, just saying, I will link below um, her, her videos. So they're really cute and I'm gonna give it a try. She just used um, some packaging and some little cards and things that she had. And so I thought I had pulled these out to possibly do something in my last um, Christmas journal that I just finished, but I never ended up using it. And you know, because it's so big, I thought I might be able to use it in there, but I just didn't. So I thought, well, maybe I will try and make a journal out of this. So let's, let's go ahead. I'm going to see, I have no idea how big it is. So it's 11 inches. See, I, I had to do that. I wasn't sure <laughs> if I do, is that right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So if I do a one inch spine on it, don't laugh at me. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm slightly challenged <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I'm gonna um I'm gonna score it. And you guys, I've done nothing. I don't normally craft this way because it freaks me out a little bit. I'm too much of a preparer. So I have no idea. We're just gonna, you know, go for it. And these are some of the things that I when I'm crafting not on camera, um, when I say, you know, it was too hard to make a video of. Maybe you'll see why. I don't know if this is going to work out or not uh, to, to be a video. So we'll see. But um, yeah, her, her journals turned out so stinking cute. So I thought it'd be fun to give it a try. So my plan, I think what I want to do... I think I want to use some Tyvek. So I just go to a local um, office supply store to buy my Tyvek. It is so expensive. Oh my goodness. You know, seriously, it is so expensive. But I don't have to use it all the time. A lot of times my, my um, spines are put together with fabric so I don't really have to use the Tyvek but I need to reinforce it with something this time. So we'll just do that. Pull it away, put it away. So my craft room is clean and I'm very very excited about that. I'm just going to take this little angled bit off. Yeah, I finished up the journal. I put all of my Christmas journal stuff away. I don't want to do any more. I don't want to get Christmas overwhelmed and then feel like when I go to decorate for Christmas that I'm tired of looking at it. So I thought I'd better stop. So I'm going to put it on the inside. That's what I'm going to do. I was just checking its um, fit and I think it fits just fine. Now I hadn't thought about inking and I, I have to ink you guys. I just, 
I have to ink. So what am I going to use for ink? I'll just kind of stand that up and sit it down in. Um, since I cleaned, I have no wipes. I threw everything away. Actually, I have a paper towel that my lamp sits on because it rattles. So, hey, there we go. I've got a paper towel. Okay, so that works for that. Sorry about the wiggle if there was one. Okay, I'm going to grab, see what color I want to use for, I'll do vintage photo. I haven't done any vintage photo for a little while. And I think I'm going to use, not the Distress Oxide, I'm going to use the Distress Ink. And I need to grab another inker. See, everything was put away, you guys. I, I was not prepared for this. Sorry. Okay. Oh, there were... Oh, look, you guys. I hadn't taken that one off. That ought to work better. Okay. All right, I'm going to use the flaps. So I think what I might do, to mimic that shape, if possible, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Maybe if I outline it. So I'm just folding it over to try and get that same line. Okay. It's actually snowing a little bit at my house today. We ran out this morning and did a little bit more raking up of um, the last bit of leaves. I mean, there are still leaves and, and a few here and there, but it's not too bad. We got the piles. We get a lot of wind here during the fall. We get a lot of wind here anyway, but um, definitely during the fall. And then it blows the leaves into piles, like in the corners of the yard where the fences are and stuff like that. And they get just so nasty if you don't get them up. And last spring, I hadn't had a chance to get them up in the fall. And so it was miserable. Last spring, it was miserable. And um, so today, I knew it was going to snow. And I'm like, Tim, we have got to get out there and do this. Luckily, he works from home. And he can walk away whenever he needs to. Um, so we we worked out there for maybe another hour, hour and a half and finished off. So hopefully in the spring, I'm not going to have horrible, gooey, thick, half frozen messes to clean up because that's what happens. You know, it gets kind of thick or, um, it's like dense, densely packed. And the, what's closest to the ground ends up being, um, frozen still. And that's just awful to clean up. So I think I want to go ahead and cover that before I put this down, I think, or do I? I don't know that it matters all that much, but I think I'm going to. So I don't like this, so I'm just going to take and cut that off.
And I will do something to reinforce the, the edges. I don't know what yet. Yeah, so I don't know if we're supposed to get any kind of accumulation or not. I really hope not, but we might. We'll see. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of, this is actually glued down pretty well. But we'll just stick a little glue there. And I'm gonna end up covering this anyway, but that's really, it's glued down really well, so I'm not worried about that. Okay. Let's see what we have. Now, I feel like I want to, this is um, paper that I won from Billy at Craft and Cake with Billy. Billy, I remembered. I didn't have to look it up. I think this is so pretty. So I think I'm gonna use this for this part. I'm not sure about the flaps yet. So hopefully I've got something in here that'll go with it. I'm using scraps, so we'll see. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. We're just gonna we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna go for it. And I think that what I want to do is cut them separately so that when the um, uh, the spine when it's opened and closed, the 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 paper right here wouldn't be puckering every time. So I'm gonna do something separate. And then who knows on the spine, I might cover it with lace or something like that. I don't know. We'll just figure that out when we get there. Okay, so we'll do a cut here. and then the length. Maybe I'll line these up so they're the same. Mm. Well, they're not the same anyway, which is kind of strange, but not because that's the way paper is. ahead and ink. I don't no idea how much if this has any ink left in it. If it's bad, okay, it's fine. I still have a reinker for this and so I want to end up, you know, just using it all up before I finally just get rid of the the pad and I guess I'm just going to switch over to the oxide inks. If they're just easier to find, so my um my walnut stain. I do prefer the walnut stain because of how brown it is. I like the brown. It's it's kind of dark, but I just really like how brown it is. But I'm um, at our stores um, here locally at at any of them. I I can only find vintage photo, um, gathered twigs. You know those kinds. I cannot find the walnut 
stain. And I would really like to so that I could use a coupon rather than having to pay the full price online. I'm sure you guys can understand that. And the full price online, a lot of times what I find is more expensive than the full price at, you know, the local craft stores. So, I don't know. This will be the first winter for my son to be away from home and driving a little bit further distance to a job and in the snow and all that kind of thing. I already sent him a message. Please be careful. <laughs> Your mama loves you. <laughs> I'm sure he just kind of rolled his eyes at that, but it's like the... Don't forget, don't forget, P.S. I love you, big hearts. So they can't get mad, you know, when you give them big hearts, right? One time um, I had texted him something and I tend to text in full sentences with periods and all that kind of stuff. And because, you know, that's my age, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so he said, he responded one time, he's like, are you mad? And I said, no, why do you think I'm mad? And he says, well, whenever McKenna, that was his girlfriend, um, whenever McKenna uses punctuation in her texts, that means she's mad at me. <laughs> it's like, no, <laughs> I'm not mad. <laughs> thought that was pretty funny. So I, I, his, the text that I sent him a little bit ago, there were several sentences. So there was a lot of punctuation. <laughs> So I ended it with, I love you, and heart face, heart face, heart face. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So that inking must have been fun to watch. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put it down with some Fabri-Tac. So I bought one of these small bottles and I really like the nozzle on it. I'm kind of thinking that I might start putting my, when this is empty, I might just start using it as my always Fabri-Tac bottle because this nozzle is great. The size of the hole is perfect. Now I realize, you know, sometimes the Fabri-Tac starts getting thick by the time you get to the end of the container and it might be kind of hard for the glue to come out, but I'm going to give it a try. And it comes, you know, the hole is, is already in it, you know, when you get it. So I don't know. We shall see. I'm having a hard time finding the glue that I normally use the, um, Aileen's, Aileen's, how do you say her name? The quick dry tacky glue. I can find the regular tacky glue, but I like the quick dry and um, I can't, cannot find it right now. I haven't looked online. I suppose maybe I could get it online. Now I 
I can also put this um, here and then when I go to cover it, I could still cover it with lace, but if, if it shows through, then it's still all the same pattern. So I think I might do that and go ahead and use this piece up. Trying to line up that it's hard to line up a thinner piece, um, you know, like a when you don't have much to hold on to, you can't hold on to it outside of the thingy. All right. Now, the one thing about Darcy's is she has, you know, pre-made tags and things like that. And I don't, I don't have any, I'm, I need to be more of a mass maker so that I have things to kind of just grab when I want. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this glue on here. Uh, but I don't, so she was able to make hers pretty quickly. It'll take me a little bit longer. I think, um, to put in some little decorations and stuff like that, because like I say, I don't have them on hand. I have some, some things, but I need to be one of those sit and fussy cut while I'm watching TV at night people. I really need to do that. Okay. So there's that. Let me see what I have over here. Excuse me. <clears throat> I really have no idea. I'm just digging through my my stuff. Maybe I'll do some. That actually be pretty, but I want it to go the full length just for the um, strength. I might do some music paper. That might work. I've got some that I I folded in half at one point. Of course, that would work as a page in here, wouldn't it? So I'm going to leave those since they're already folded in half. But I am still going to use, pretty sure, it's not quite long enough. I found these at A sale one day not it was a couple years ago actually and they had quite a few and it was only a dollar I, I wish I had gotten more I mean I've got I'm thinking about this up here I could probably fold it over it probably won't be too bad of a okay Let's go ahead and cut this. Oh, and sometimes and I need to change my um my cutter and this old paper sometimes does not do well. So 
So I'm thinking if I just do it like that, yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, I think I'm gonna put my glue down here and slide it down in and then um, the glue up towards the top. So I'm not dealing with so much glue on this paper. I'll put it here instead. I'll really wanna make sure there's glue where that um, fold is so that it really adheres right there. Probably way more than I needed, but that's all right. We'll just kind of slide it down in there, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Ah. I, this is something that I've watched Tina at uh, Shabby Dabby Dabby, Shabby Dabby Dabby, <laughs> Shabby Dabby Doo -da do <laughs> Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Um, and how sometimes she really has to fuss with it to get it where she wants when she's sliding it down in something. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm just trying to get it to slide into position here. A little bit of glue everywhere. I'm probably wiggling my, my desk pretty good. I just cleaned my my mat also. So it's like, would you stop getting glue all over me? It doesn't come all the way clean. It It's like smooth, but the little marks don't ever come off anymore. That's fine, I don't care. I didn't ink it. All right, so let's cut around here. And maybe today we'll just do the, this part, you know, the cover, and then I can work on getting some pages for the inside. Where's the fold? So I have my, it's kind of a, a skinny little flexible ruler. I think if I put it where it needs to fold, it might work a little better. dry for a little bit before I ink and then we'll do this side as well and I think I think I think we'll do it like this I wonder if I have a fresh This is another thing that, um, yep, I do have one. These are a little harder to find at the craft store right now as well.
They don't last very long. I can usually get through about one journal and they start causing trouble. Much better. Okay, same thing on this one. Make sure that it fits down in there. Yeah. There was a little sticking in there, but not too bad. And I'll just worry about inking it once I get it down in there. A lot of it won't show anyway. Again, probably more than I need. Oh, I needed to go quite a bit farther. So the art glitter glue would not be a good glue to use when you're trying to slide paper because it grabs so fast. And well, and that that's already grabbed. So whatever didn't cover quite the way I wanted to up here, I'll just trim that off. the part that has the sticky stuff so it wouldn't ink if I tried so we'll just do it like that I hope this is one of those things that um, actually uses up a fair amount of scraps you know a lot of times I go and I think oh I'm gonna use some scraps yeah, not much actually happens. And then you end up just creating, you know, it creates scraps instead of using them. Okay. Oh, I need to make sure this fold is good on this side too. So here, I don't know for sure, honestly. So let's ink a little bit. trying to think if I have some maybe strip of fabric that would be cute right there. I have to pull out my scrap fabrics. <clears throat> I just don't know for sure. 
because again, I don't know that I want to put paper there in the fold. I don't, I think since I have the Tyvek, I don't think I need to put anything. So maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just, let's see. See how the inking helps you to think? Hit a little glue there. I also need to ink this. I am not the cleanest inker. I will admit that. I just hope it turns out as cute as Darcy's. Almost, almost done with the ink. So does anybody have fun plans for the holidays for, for Thanksgiving? If you are, you know, in a place where you actually celebrate Thanksgiving. We just go up, generally we just go up to my sister-in-law's house and eat with them. So do any of you guys that have channels not really talk about it with your family members? Because I don't. <laughs> I don't even know if they know that I do this. Is that not weird? I mean, we don't spend a lot of time together, mostly just the holidays. And I don't know for sure why that is. Um, my, my family members know, but like my husband's family members, I don't talk to them about it. Um... So, I just figure I sit and do nothing all day, I guess. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to put a little ink on this. part. It's just kind of never ending, huh? I'm not going to do this part yet. Okay. So I think what I want to do is glue this down. So I would love to go to my mom's. I just... I don't know. There's always some barrier. I don't know. So I should have put some glue on that, but it's okay. It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll have uh, signatures sewn in there. So that'll be just fine. That'll hold it. I think. Won't it? Yeah, the signature will hold it. I don't mind that it's going to, you know, gap a little bit. I don't, that doesn't bother me. When, when it's open, it won't be gapped. And so I don't think it's going to be an issue. But if that was an issue, you could cut it and put like just a little, you know, take some of the paper out and then re-glue it down. But it doesn't bother me. Okay. So in the center, well, first of all, what do we want to put on the pockets?
Hmm. I don't have enough of this, I don't think. It's not big enough. It's cute paper, though. It, it's like that on the other side. Isn't that weird, you know, for this to be on this side and that to be on that side? I think that's kind of strange. I think I'm going to use this. And it would work better this way, but the flowers are going that way. I don't think I can get two pockets this way. Oh yeah, I can, lengthwise, okay. I think we'll go to about there. Yeah, so we just do the normal turkey, which, I don't know. I just, not my favorite thing to eat. How about you guys? I, I get tired of it. This is another paper that I received from Winnings from Billy. Thank you, Billy. I must say though, I have a sweet potato recipe that is delicious. And I do look forward to eating that. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's something to do. Maybe it's because I have to cook it. Or, you know, not all of it, because she cooks some of it too. But maybe it's because when I was younger, I liked it so much because I didn't have to cook it. Could be it. I made, did I tell you guys, I made a turkey breast. I just bought a turkey breast and I threw it in the crock pot. Of course, I'm not one to eat skin, um, so that is all, you know, thrown away for me anyway. But it really makes a nice, moist turkey breast. If you um, are looking for something different, you can just throw turkey breast with the bone and everything, you know, as long as it'll fit in your crock pot. And just throw it in there, and it, it really turns out moist, which it's, you know... Turkey breast is known for being so dry. Turns out great. This is going to end up being kind of a long video. We'll be done pretty soon, I think. Okay, so we'll get these glued down. I think I'm going to use... Some Fabri-Tac. I've got my hairs are falling off of me. I actually have one that's tickling my back right now. Well, I don't know that it's going to snow enough that anything's going to stick. It's just kind of a really fine, fine powdery bit, you know, no actual, like they're snowflakes, don't get me wrong, but they're tiny. So, that's one of the nice things about not having to drive into town for work, is that we've never had trouble with snow. And where we live, we have, there's a hill that you have to take to come up to our neighborhood. And it's called Big Sandy. And I don't know if it's called Big Sandy because of how much sand they put on it during the winter time, but it's quite the hill. And people get stuck all the time. Um, you know, you can get down the hill just fine, but when people are coming home from work at night, if they don't have an all wheel drive vehicle or I guess sometimes, like, even people that have their snow tires on, um, they just cannot get traction, and they just sit on the hill spinning their wheels. That would really be a bummer. But we haven't had to deal with that since we don't work in, 
same town. I never have since we moved here, which is nice. I worked for a while out here, substitute teaching, but you know, I didn't have to go anywhere. Just the schools are all out here, so. Okay. And I don't have enough to do this, so I'm gonna have to do something else. I do have this pink. It looks kind of like baby paper to me, so I don't know if I want to use it or not. Let's see what else I have. I don't have enough of that. So do you guys remember the um, recipe book that I made? I had made it, I made it so thick that I had to remove things and I thought oh eventually I'll make another recipe book and I, then I started thinking you know what Stephanie just use the paper just use the paper if it's big enough okay So we're going to do that. We're going to cut some of these things up. So see, look, you guys, I'm using up my scraps. These weren't scraps. I'm using up actual paper and making more scraps. See how I'm doing that? It's naughty. So naughty. We're definitely only going to get through the, um, I hope this is wide enough. We're only going to get through the cover, but that's fine. All right, I'm gonna cut off where I stitched. And I'm gonna use this one for that. Sorry about that. Whoopsie, it didn't go all the way through. Oh, it's because of the thread. Huh. Oh. So I don't even remember what I did. Okay. And this I need to cut the holes. Okay. I should have enough. So these look like pencil marks. No, they're not pencil marks. It's part of the... Okay, I'm gonna do it this way. So I think I'll do here. Sometimes I just feel like you just got to do it, you know, and like use something and whatever you cut off, just throw it away. Um, otherwise, it, it just gets so overwhelming sometimes. It does for me anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, you know, throw some pieces away and, and I'll survive. I actually cleaned out my scrap bin I don't know, several months back. It might have been during the summer. And I threw so much stuff away. And I was just like, Stephanie, do it. It's okay. It'd be cute if that was stitched, but I'm not I'm not leaving it that way. Actually I could and just make the flap bigger. Wouldn't that be cute? But then I wouldn't have it on this side and I'm not doing that. So I'm not gonna. I'm just not gonna do it. <laughs> So I think what I'll do is I'll glue it and then I'll cut.
already did this side. Yay! I was thinking, what am I going to put on the inside? Okay. Let that dry for a moment, and we'll glue this side down. This has an extra bit, but that's fine. And this is not big enough, so that's fine. Okay. I don't know, we might get some accumulation because it said, it said that it's supposed to snow kind of through the night, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so let's go ahead and trim around this. Sometimes it's hard to tell, you know, if it's really overhanging or if it's just not glued properly yet. But I really think that was overhanging. Sorry, it's probably painful watching the cutting, but you can always watch in fast motion or fast forward through this part. It's fine. I don't mind. right there. It's fine. Okay, let's ink this. hour video. I really didn't think it would be that long. I need to add a little bit of glue there. I hope mine looks scrappy like Darcy's. It really is cute. You have to go over and check them out, you guys. You have to, you have to. I say so. Okay, now I don't have enough. I thought I did, but I don't have enough to do this with this, and it is what I wanted to do. But, um, I mean, I could always do two pieces, but lining it up, uh, I don't want to. So let me see what else I have. of go
that's actually a long enough piece. Too blue. It is too blue, but it's scrappy, right? There's stitching on it but so what <laughs> right does that matter it's kind of cute actually I mean honestly I was thinking about doing two skinny signatures and it might be in the way but that is really cute that would have worked just fine okay I'll do this so I need it to be about well, there. Okay, I'm gonna cut these little bumpies off. And, and I just got rid of my line, didn't I? That was brilliant. Brilliant, Stephanie. Almost there, you guys. I have, it's it was cut from the opposite side on this side, so it has that you know turned up edge. Okay, I think we have, after I get this down, I think we have everything covered. And I'm getting careless. I'm just like sticking my fingers straight in the glue. I'm trying to hurry now and I shouldn't do that. I'm gonna end up making a mistake. Trying to figure out what's wiggling. There's a noise and I'm not sure what it is. Okay. Okay, so there's a start. Don't know what's coming next, you guys, but we'll figure something out. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I know this was a long one. Um, sorry about that, but I hope you like it so far and we'll see you soon. Bye.